everyone it's montana and yeah i got a haircut it's not my favorite but it's fine um today welcome back to my channel if you're new here uh i'm studying abroad in germany and today i'm gonna be answering questions such as why i chose to move to germany and just general questions about my exchange year those games. <laughs> why I chose Germany, it's kind of a collection of answers. There's not just one reason. I, in high school in the USA, I was always really interested in international relations. I was actually in a program called Leadership in International Relations at my school. So I was always really interested in multicultural um, aspects and like learning about other cultures. I did activities like debate and model UN and I hosted these exchange panels where we had college exchange students come to high to come to our high school and talk about their experience and normally it was people from a bunch of countries such as like Australia, Israel, China, Japan but we had one panel in particular about Germany and it was through the Fulbright Scholars Program I'm um, not sure if any of you guys have heard about that, but it was a panel of just German exchange students and they started talking about what they found different in America versus Germany and they talked a lot about uh, environmental aspects that were different and how Germany is so focused on environmentalism. I actually have like, another video about that um, you might have already seen. So that kind of planted the seed in my head. Oh, Germany seems really cool and progressive. Um, it would be really cool to learn more about German culture. And then at the time, I was also taking Spanish. I took Spanish for five years. And I loved Spanish. That was really my, my goal. I wanted to study abroad in Spain for a summer. And I still might do that in the future, but it is super expensive <laughs> and I didn't exactly have the money to make that happen so I started looking up scholarships to study abroad and I actually typed into Google study abroad free and I came across CBYX and then I started looking into CBYX and I realized that someone from my school who had done the program previously and so my teacher told me to reach out to him and ask him about his experience and so I emailed him I facetimed with him and he told me it was the best decision of his life to apply and to study abroad in Germany for the year after hearing his advice I basically was convinced I wanted to apply and I was a little bit afraid because I had absolutely no German background uh, <laughs> I have German background in my blood, but I meant language-wise, I knew zero German at all. My friend, he also went into the program with no German, and it's not a requirement to have learned German in the past. So I figured, oh, this will be an amazing way to learn a new language from the beginning and be so immersed and hopefully um, it would be a different experience than learning Spanish for five years and still barely being able to speak with a native speaker. <laughs> so further on in my story, <laughs> I talked to my friend, I found CBYX, this scholarship to study abroad in Germany for free for a year. And after I started my application, I binge watched YouTube videos on Germany. I watched uh, easy German videos and honestly understood nothing. I was just reading the English subtitles the entire time. I watched videos on German culture shock, Americans living in, living in Germany, German high school. And I just became so invested in going to Germany. Once I got in, I was like, this is insane. I cannot believe I have this opportunity. And I want to make YouTube videos so other people can watch them. And um, yeah, that's basically a long, long reasoning as to why I chose Germany. But I'm so glad that I did. Living here has been so amazing so far. I've had so many cool opportunities like traveling and there's just no other country that I think would be able to provide such opportunities and I definitely think that the aspects of environmentalism that the students brought up in that panel so long ago, the Fulbright Scholars, 
I am now seeing what they were talking about firsthand living here. And it's just so cool to have heard the experiences of other exchange students and now I get to live those experiences. Now that you know why Germany, I have just another few questions that people have been asking that I'm going to clarify. Um, so I know I said in my last video I live in Passau in um, Bavaria but that was not something that I chose. The exchange programs actually choose where you live and they choose your family for you. It wasn't really anything I had input into, but I feel like one of the luckiest people in the world because my location is so gorgeous. I have the perfect host family and I honestly could not imagine a better year or a better placement for uh, my personality and for what I like doing. My family is so active and we go hiking and we travel and it's just so amazing. It is a little hard because the majority of people from my program, so all the other Americans, are mainly placed in NRV um, because that is where the headquarters of the exchange program are. So the majority of host family placements are around there. There's one person who's about two hours away from me, um, but other than that, the majority are in NRV. However, there are American exchange students all across the country. I do go to a gymnasium in Germany. This is my senior year, but they put senior year in the US, but they put me in 11th grade or QEV in Germany because of the Abitur. Originally, I was in the 10th grade, but it was a big difference between ages just because I'm a lot older. And so I ended up switching. It's it's honestly not that different than um, being in 12th grade in the U.S. Like, I think the people in Ku Alpha are really mature, and I, I enjoy school. I do not need grades this year except for English and Sozialkundes or government because I need a government credit in the U.S. However, I do attend all classes. I could never skip. I'm so scared. My host family told me that when people skip in Germany, the police can come to your house and <laughs> question where you are. So I do attend full courses and I do homework. I do the tests. Um, I may not get the best grades in the tests. Some Beispiel ein zwei Punkte in Bio, but I try my hardest and uh, for American viewers the grading scale here is super different. In Ku Elf it's 1 through 15 in my school and then each one correlates with a grade 1 through 6 and 1 is the best and I mainly get 5 and 6's but not in English. Another question uh, was where did I come from in the U.S.? I came from Richmond, Virginia. It's about two hours from Washington, D.C., the capital of the U.S. I drove to Washington, D.C. and then flew from Washington to Frankfurt. Uh, it was like, I think seven hours, seven or eight hours. Uh, another question regarding school in general was can I take the Abitur or like basically just like how my life works with the abitur and no i cannot take the abitur i will not be here long enough nor could i actually succeed in taking it my german is not good enough for that and i don't think anyone is allowed to take the abitur uh, with this program we're not allowed to graduate in germany and we would be leaving before um at least school in Bayern ends when it comes to timing of my program, I came here in August, in the beginning of August, and I leave on the 23rd of June. So it is a 10 month program, not a full year, but I say that it's a year because, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much a year. My exchange program is CBYX, Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange. The counterpart is PPP, that is the program that sends Germans to the US. It's funded by the U.S. State Department and also the German Bundestag. But my actual exchange program is through CIEE in the United States and then my German exchange 
program is experiment AFAL. Lastly, people were asking about my future plans. Unfortunately, I cannot stay and travel on my own in Germany after my 10 months are up. I have to go back to the US with all of the other people from my program. Um, and also, I don't really think it'd be feasible for me to go to German University. I'm kind of already decided on going to university in the United States. So in June, I'm going to go back to the US uh, and then I'll have a summer break from June to August. And in August, I'll be attending a university. I have not decided yet which, which university, but I will be announcing that in the future. I really hope to keep learning German in college. I definitely am going to keep continue to take German classes and I hope to use my German in the future because I want to go into a business degree or international relations. I definitely will be coming back in the future <laughs> and visiting or I'm not positive if I could see myself living here permanently, but it's not something that I've completely X'd off my list, so maybe even coming and moving to Germany. <laughs> that is all that I have today for my Q&A. If there are any other questions that you have, um, I will be doing a Q&A auf Deutsch in the future, so please leave any general questions. You can leave questions about my life down below or anything you really want to know about me, about American culture. Soon I will be posting that Q&A auf Deutsch. Um, also, I created an Instagram. It's at montana.showalter and it's my public account for YouTube and for my life. And I do have a private account, but I ask that you please don't request to follow it unless you know me personally because it just has a lot more personal details and I'm going to continue to keep that keeping that account private but please feel free to follow my new Instagram account I'll be able to post more updates on that and post photos and it's more personal way to talk with people so I can post questions on that and yeah so thank you so much for watching sorry this video is kind of a bit long I hope you enjoyed hearing about my exchange year and you subscribe thank you so much for reaching 10,000 subscribers it's actually insane <laughs> and i can't believe that you guys are so willing to watch these videos <laughs> so thank you so so much and happy new year to everyone cheers <laughs>